Hey, what's going on guys? TB Cools here and today we are going to be doing a hitchhiker build. Hitchhiker is one of my favorite family members. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we have hitchhiker here. As you can see, we have his savagery up a little bit. He's at 25, no blood harvesting, and he has max endurance. So we're going to go to loadout here. We're going to see that we have for our set, for our tree, we have the increased damage. Increase escape difficulty, and we have the all family C noise. Now, the reason why I have this build rather than going to bleed damage is with Hitchhiker, he's also mainly a support family member, I would say. So, having all family be able to see when someone goes into his traps is a good thing. Again, having any family member kill a victim is a win. You don't have to always kill that victim, if that makes sense. So, we have increased damage, so we just went up to straight line. So now they'll do an extra 13% damage. We also have increased escape difficulty, which makes it 28% more difficult for them to escape. And since it takes a little bit longer for them to escape, all the family can see it and someone else might be closer than you are. So here's our perks that we have. We have serrated, which obviously just gives the perk holder an extra 5 damage per second once it's maxed out, of course. Then we have the Dinner Bell, which honestly is the, one of the best things to have on Hitchhiker. It's victims caught in traps will be highlighted and your maximum stamina is increased by 60 points for 15 seconds. So you get an extra 60 stamina just because you have this when someone gets stuck in your trap. That's OP. Then we have Feral. Feral just increases your savagery because without it, <laughs> uh, he'd be at 15 damage. So kind of need that now so thinking of serrated and we have again our feral we're basically doing 30 damage per hit in the most part so that's a really good amount of damage that we can have and then finally we have brute strength for grandpa now brute strength uh obviously just increases melee damage just a little bit so that's always welcome um, in my build, I also have Nobody Escapes Hell, which makes the doors 40% more difficult. I have Suffocating Grip, and I also have Well, Well, Well. Um, for the most part, I would go between Brute Strength or Well, 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 if someone else is using the Brute Strength perk, of course. Now, without further ado, let's load into a game and discuss how he is functioning. All right, we're playing on Family House. We have Hitchhiker, Cook, and Nancy. So this should be pretty easy for us. We don't even have to really do anything, honestly. But we're going to have to discuss how to use this character. So let's do it. So what we're going to start off with first is we are going to be going to find the Fuse Box. Fuse Box seems to be in a wacky spot. Good thing there's no barricade right here. So that's what we're going to do first. We're also going to latch this door, um, and we're going to throw a trap right on Fuse. Since we have Cook, what I'm going to do is uh, just allow Cook to put up his locks. He's got locks that he can put up over here towards the... He can put one on the front, two doors, and then the uh, back door. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch my previous video. I did a Cook build. And we actually did Family House, so uh, that's a pretty important video if you want to see how Cook functions. And the best way to make him run. Oh, perfect. See? Look at that. I already got the trap set up. So now, since we are... That door's latched. Oh, she's got a trap there, too. We got good traps everywhere. So, honestly, we can put the traps really anywhere. Yep, she put a trap there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put trap number two right on this door. So when if they go to sneak out the rear porch, they can't. And then the other trap is going to go right in front of the window, so they cannot jump and run out of the window, because everyone does that. Hit him twice, three times, four times. 
Chasing Sunny. Remember, he's trapped up here. Look at that. Four hits. And he's dead. Already off to a good start with Hitchhiker. And the weird camera angle since we're on the staircase. <laughs> we're going to feed Grandpa, and then we're going to put the last trap on the window. The front window, of course, not the side window, because that doesn't do anything. So the trap up right here. Now, me personally, I play on controller. Um, I have played on mouse and keyboard. I feel like this game's easier with controller. Uh, that is not the case with every game, of course. I'm going to shut that, and we're going to go back down towards the staircase to see. Still locked. Let's check and see if Anna or anyone, anyone, someone must have come up here probably because this is back to cracked open. We're going to go up to fuse now. Or someone else already broke through it. Awesome. All right, we have our trap. And she also put a trap there. Nice. Oh, we should be more than set. We should be able to destroy these players. They shouldn't be able to do anything. We're going to latch this. Since this is open here. That's going to help us because we can just go all the way back around and, and break that door. That door's latched. We're going to keep it latched. Cook is hearing the generator. Right, let's see. Let me peek down here. Oh, that's Cook. All right, bone trap's good. Trapping this on the fuse is good. And that door is also still closed. We honestly do not have to do much. This is a very easy open and close shut game just simply because we're on Family House with three characters. Two of them with traps and one of them with locks. Um, so I, I'm not even too worried about any of this to be honest. Now, for those of you that don't know, if Nancy has a trap set down, don't go through it. See this right here? She'd have to reset it, and it's such a pain in the butt to reset it. So, when you're playing as family, don't do not do that to her traps. Is that Connie? I just see someone. Am I? Oh, there we go. Nice. I ran out of stamina there. That's what happened. All right, someone jumped out the window over here. We're going to push straight over to her. She thinks we didn't see her. The joke's on her. We're going to lock the door here so she can't come back through the porch. She has to go down that well. Yep, you're going to have to go down the well, buddy. That also works. She took so much damage going out of that window. So that's a good plus for us. I already killed two. All we have left is Anna. Alright, we see her. Cook's hitting her. Go down, nice, nice. Nancy might have her. If she doesn't, that's fine. We're gonna go max out uh, Grandpa right now. I'm gonna get him to level 5. If I could get to Grandpa. Jeez. I'm just excited for the update, because it should be coming soon for, uh... For a new family member and victim. Where the heck is she? Didn't even show her. Door's closed. Oh, that's why, because she's dead. That's a good game. Let's check out his skill tree. Alright, so what we have for the hitchhiker skill tree is we went on the left hand side. So we went left right 
right, left, left. Again, that is left, right, right, left, left. Now the reason I chose this path, obviously, like I said, we have dinner bell. I also got uh, serrated in here. And then ferals at the very end to the top left. Again, since these are um, skills and you're on a skill tree, some of these you're going to have to just keep respecting. You're going to have to keep resetting that skill tree until you get certain um, perks. But other than that, that's all you have to do. And again, we'll go back, double check everything. We have serrated, dinner bell, feral, and then our trap we have from level 1 is increased damage, level 2 is increased escape difficulty, and level 3 is all family C's. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite victim is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.